feeling with chase I'm wide awake Take me away now Hey what's up guys welcome to Training Reviews So today I'm giving you the one year anniversary review of my Range Rover vlog I picked it up on the 1st of September in 2017 So I'm going to be covering three different points for you throughout the past year I'm going to give you the top five things that I really like about the car even a year in I'm going to give you the top five regrets of things that I wish I actually bought with the car after using it for a year some things I've realized that I would have liked and a couple of things at the end to give you a wish list that I hope Land Rover will do in the future so let's uh, get straight into it alright so my first thing on the top five things that I really like about the car is the automatic sensor for opening the boot so I use this quite often when I want to put in my luggage and shopping groceries boxes and so on just click underneath and the boot should open up straight away and again I can just do the same to close it and I use that quite often so that's my number one used feature on the car at the moment the second thing I like about the car is the auto high beam assist now this is a really cool feature if you're driving at night time and there's no street lights and it's really dark ahead of you the high beams will come up automatically and they turn off if it senses any other cars coming in the distance or you go around the bend and there's another car there it will turn off itself so that's really good in terms of a safety feature as well so giving you visibility at all times number three is the safety features on the car I really like the option of the lane assist so you turn that on if you're driving on the motorways it will shake the steering wheel it will vibrate it a little bit just to show you that you're swaying into different lanes so it keeps you going straight and the second safety feature is the autonomous emergency braking the AEB so if there's an obstacle coming ahead of you and you've just looked down for a second and you're not going to be able to stop in time then the car will automatically brake for you and I've had that before once um, so it does work and I think it's really good right so number four is the door handles so you've probably seen the videos already that they come out and they go back in when you lock the car I really like the idea of not being able to take your keys out of your pocket so you can keep it there all the time and then control the car separately so you press it once to take the handles back in and you quickly double press as soon as it's gone in to completely lock it and you should hear a beep like so as you can see it's fully locked I never have to take the key out of my pocket and to unlock it I just press it again and it comes out there's also a feature if you're using the driver door you can do it so that if you open it from there none of the other door handles open up just the driver door it's a bit of a safety if you're driving by yourself you don't want to open up all of them around just your one so that's really useful as well and number five after using it a year I still think that is one of the most beautiful cars on the road it's still turning heads I still get people stopping to take pictures of the car and again I think it's one of the smoothest drives I've ever had it's just really comfortable to drive and also I think it's gonna be one of the smoothest drives of any cars in the next year as well so that's my top five things of the Range Rover Velar so now I'm going to give you some uh, top 5 things that I regret not buying with the car after using it for a year so let's take a look at that so the first thing I regret when using it the car is obviously high up it's an SUV this is my first SUV I've got one thing I would have really liked to order after realizing after a year now especially is a step so when you open the door you get a deployable step that comes out to help you assist get into the car so obviously I'm not 6 foot tall or anything like that so my friends are not that tall as well so Sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle to get into the car, um, so if you just had a step, it would just make things a lot easier. So that's my top thing that I regret not getting. The second thing I regret not getting is the front cameras. So I have rear cameras, rear parking sensors at the moment, so I'd like to get the front parking sensors, the front cameras as well, because when you're driving down these tiny little side roads, or you're going into, let's say, a car park which has barriers and raised pavements, or even if you go into a car wash, it's very tight space and you can't see from the driving point of view where actually the pavement cuts off because of the bonnet size um, and the height of the vehicle so having those sensors makes a massive difference and I wish I really got them from the beginning okay so number three the navigation is really good on the car already but one thing I would have really liked is the heads up display so I did do a test drive for a Velar before I bought this one and the, the one I test drove had the heads up display on there it was really awesome obviously I didn't compensate for the value of it so I decided to leave it out obviously that adds on a bit of extra cost when you're building the car but now that I'm using it, I think the navigation on the projection of the road is a lot more useful than actually keep looking on the screen to your left. So I thought, you know, it's a nice to have feature, but that would have looked really awesome. And if I do upgrade, I would get that next time, definitely. Number four, this does come in the very high spec version of the Range Rover Velar, but I would have really liked to get the cooled seats in addition to the, just the heated front seats, as well as the option to get the massage balls that you get in the backrests of the front two seats. I thought that would have been a really nice feature to have 
people would have loved it. I go to the gym quite often and, and when you get a lot of back pain, when you're driving and you turn the massage mode on in your seats, I think that's just a really cool feature to have in any car. And the last regret I have of the Range Rover Velop is the roof. So this year, in this summer in uh, London, it's been really hot. We've had a massive amount of heat waves. And one thing I regret not getting is the black panoramic roof. So I think the car generally looks a lot nicer when the trim of the roof is entirely black and the body of the car is a different color. So obviously the white on the black will look really good. But in addition to that, having a panoramic roof, opening it up all the way through the top and enjoying the weather, enjoying the sun, I just thought that would have been a really good option to have. At the moment, there is no sunroof, but I can live with that for now. But if I do give a, an upgrade to the Velar in a few years time, then obviously that's one thing I'll definitely add. So just to finish off, there's a couple of things that I want to add to the wish list of the Range Rover. So the first one is Apple CarPlay. I know there's in-control apps that you can use for your Android phones and it will display various different apps that you can get from the Google Play Store and use it on the screen. But some people have iPhones, I have an iPhone at home as well and I'd like to connect some of my iPhone apps into the car. There is at the moment maybe 400 odd cars and models that are compatible with CarPlay. Land Rover and Velar specifically are not one of them. I'll leave a link in the description below to have a look at all the cars compatible with CarPlay. Now the Land Rover Discovery, a couple of the models on there do have CarPlay installed, although they have no plans to add that in the future for Velar. So that's one thing I do wish that they work on in the future. The second thing is I wish they have a wireless charging port. They probably will be working on that fairly soon, but at the moment the Velar has an awkward positioning where you can't really put your phone up anywhere. You, I'm at the moment using a magnet just above the screen and that seems to work well but when I'm charging it the cables just get in the way of the screen as well so if they have a wireless charging port where you can just drop your phone for me that would be a big win. So that's about it guys thanks for watching I hope that was a really good one year review of my Range Rover Velop. If you have any questions about the car itself then please do drop a comment below otherwise I will see you at the second year review of the Velop but subscribe I've got some more features coming up got some more videos, more reviews of the vlog in general. So keep an eye out for those and I'll see you next time. Take care. Drive, drive, drive